Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Microsoft Slim Pen 2 and in this video I will show you how to use this Slim Pen 2 with Microsoft Surface Pro 9. So let's start. The first feature is using the back shortcut button. Press it two times to open the Microsoft OneNote. So for example, if I press it two times like this, it opens the Microsoft OneNote where I can start taking my notes. Okay, so you can see over here. Now the next thing is if you want to insert any image, what you can do is go to this insert option and you can directly search any image online from Microsoft OneNote. Just select this online pictures option. It will open the Microsoft Bing. Okay, and here you can search any image. So here I will write with my pen hard anatomy okay so you will see it will convert into the text okay so here you can see and then just press the enter option and then here you see there are different images available so whatever image you want you can insert for example i select this image and then i select this insert option so once i select this insert option it will automatically appear in my notes okay and then if you want you can change its size its location as well the next feature is screen clipping option so just select this multi window option from here and then here you can see it is showing you different formats okay so you can open in any of these formats so for example i select this format to open it in a split screen mode now on the other side you can open any other app for example i open this complete anatomy app and then you can uh, use this app now what you can do is if you want to clip any part of this uh, app you can do it just select this microsoft OneNote, and here you will see this images option just select it and here you see this screen clipping option okay now what you can do is you can select any part of this screen so for example i select this part like this so by just selecting it it will automatically bring it to my microsoft OneNote, where i can do all the other annotation with the image the next feature is using your slim pen tool to draw neat shapes so just select this draw option and here select this ink to shape option and then whatever you draw for example i draw this circle like this it will make it into neat shape okay so for example i can use this one as well okay if i draw this type of box and it will make it neat for me there are other shapes option as well for example like this one so what you can do just use your slim pen tool like this and then you can draw it okay so for example i want to draw this type of shape so i can just use it and then it will make it this shape for me the next feature is using the back side of the pen as an eraser so for example if i write something and if i want to erase it so i just use this back side of the pen and then i can simply erase whatever i write the next feature is you can also draw or you can also insert different tables so here is the table option so you can give it any dimension okay like this and here you see it will create table for you okay and then if you want you can also insert spreadsheet as well so here is the spreadsheet option so you can select new excel spreadsheet and then it will create spreadsheet for you in your microsoft OneNote. you can also use the highlighter option so for example if i write something okay so you can see and now i want to use the highlighter so here are different highlighters option for example i select this one and you can use this highlighter as well okay so you can see over here so let's move to another app the next app is microsoft whiteboard so i will open the microsoft whiteboard okay so in the microsoft whiteboard you have different templates option available which are really amazing so here is the templates okay so here you can see it is giving you different options so you can use the brainstorming problem solving design and research strategy so for example i select the problem solving okay so if i just select it and here you can see i have different templates available so for example i select 
cause and effect diagram i just select it and it will create this type of template for me and here i can use in my slim pen tool and i can edit it i can annotate it i can use the highlighter okay so for example i use this highlighter okay so you can see i can also edit it you can also use this scale option okay and you can use to draw different kind of shapes if you want like that okay so you can see over here and then if you want you can also share the link of this whiteboard so you can share it with other people so here you can see this share option so here is the share link option so it will create a link you can copy it and share with other people and they can also work on your whiteboard they can see it as well the next thing is if you want to finish your work you can export it as pdf just select this settings icon and and here you see this option of export PDF and then it will give you the location where you want to export it the next app that I'm going to use with this slim pen 2 is Microsoft journal so if you want to do the journaling you can use this app okay so in the uh, Microsoft journaling you have all the tools available so you can make your notes okay so you can see over here you can create different headings you also have the option of cards so if you select this cards option whatever heading you make it will make a specific card for it for example i select it and it will show you here this page and if you select this second card it will open the description for you so here you can see i create different uh, journals okay different pages the next thing is if you want to insert the pdf file you can also do it just select this plus icon and here you see this option of insert a pdf just select it then it will show you the destination where you have your pdf file for example i select this pdf file i import this pdf okay and it will take just few seconds okay and i will show you how does it look like so here you can see i insert this pdf okay so you can see i can make it bigger i can go to the pages option okay so here you can see this is my pdf okay and it attached to this journal okay now if you want to edit this pdf you can also do the editing you can mark it up you can use uh, this highlighter tool as well okay if you want to use uh, this scale tool you can also use it okay so you can draw a shape okay so for example if i want to draw a line so you can see it this is how it looks like okay so all your journaling needs you can do it you can use the eraser option or you can use the back side of the pen to erase okay the next thing that i want to mention here is about this pen button so for example uh, you write something okay so i will write here and now if you want to highlight it so you can use this pen button so i just uh, press this pen button i just do it like this and then you can see it highlighted and it's selected now if i double tap it like this it will highlight this complete uh, writing okay and then if you want you can copy it okay uh, you can copy it as text okay for example i select copy it as text now i want to paste it it will paste it uh, like uh, uh, text okay so here you can see so here you can see the writing i do over here it will convert it into the text okay so this is how you can use it guys you can also insert pages into the pdf in microsoft journal just select these three dots okay and here you see this option of insert page you can just select it and it will insert the page okay so here if you want uh, you can make your notes okay if you finish your work and you want to export it you can again select these three dots and here it is showing you the option of export so you can export the page or you can export it all so if i select export all i will show you so export export all here it is giving you two options you can export to microsoft OneNote or you can export it as pdf file the next feature about this slim pen 2 is i can use it as laser pointer for my powerpoint presentations so i will open the web version of powerpoint so here you can see i have different slides now for example i select this present option and here i select this laser pointer option and if i want to highlight something 
okay so you can see i can highlight in my presentations okay so you can see over here i can also use it as pen so here you see this pen option okay so if you want to write something in your presentation you can also do it you also have the option of highlighter if you want to highlight something or you can use the eraser option as well okay or you can use the back side of the pen for the eraser the next thing is you can also use it in microsoft excel to draw anything if i select this excel over here and i want to write something with my slim pen so i can write here okay so you can see so here is uh, my uh, excel sheet okay so i can write here if i want to highlight something i can use the highlighter okay so you can see over here i can use the highlighter the next feature is ink to text option so for example i open the chat gpt and here you can ask it anything by just writing okay so for example i write here make notes about heart so you can see it convert my writing into the text okay and then you can send it the question and then it will start responding uh, about what you ask and uh, you can see it will show you all the search results in the chat gpt okay so you can see over here okay so here you can see it start writing and then it will also show you some images as well the next feature is you can use your slim pen 2 for sticky notes option so if you just press and hold this back side of the pen this back button just press and hold it it will open the sticky note for you here is your sticky note and then you can start taking your notes okay if you select this plus icon it will open another note with all the different tools you can also change the color okay so for example I press and hold I select these three dots here you can see you can change the color and you can make your sticky notes here as well so guys this is how you can use your slim pen 2 in Microsoft Surface Pro 9 so this is for today's video I hope you like the video I hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much